Hello. Hey everyone and welcome to this Where is my doorway to possibilities book launch hangout. Thanks Melanie for putting it together. You're so welcome. So this is going to be a really 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 serious occasion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um I am just so grateful for everyone who's contributed to this. This has been like 2 years in the making and you know even the so first of all this book is based on the tele summit that we all did together which was in January of uh, 2015 and even while I was making the tele summit I said I'm going to create this into a book and I thought you know what I'm going to get it done in 3 months time. <laughs> Well, the book, <laughs> the book had its own point of view about when it wanted to be created, and apparently today is the day. So here we are! Yeah. Yay! So I know I, I, everyone was like, you know, send me my chapter. I want to read my chapter so that then we can talk about it. And here's my point of view. How about you didn't read your chapter and talk about the same topic from today's awareness, today's consciousness? How about that? I like it. Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I like it. The things I that I thought of as a student. I went and got the th- th- oh, that's so cute. <laughs> One of the things that I realized, Nilifer, was that this was the first telesummit that I did. And, <laughs> and mm-hmm. looking back on it, I'm like, oh, goodness gracious, how different, how much things have changed over the last couple of years which is just a testament to the tools that each one of us have been using both in our lives and in and you know that we use to write you know our chapters in the book which just excites me even more. <laughs> yeah. And we can tell you that it works. We we've, we've lived 2 years past that. <laughs> no, and, and did you realize how brilliant you are? Oh. All really, of us. Uh, Thank you. All uh, like all of us. Like you know that's that's one thing that I've been so much in touch with as I've been creating this book. I mean, I've read it and reread it and reread it till my eyes are like crossed. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've read it. And every time that I picked it up and I read a chapter or I read a portion of the chapter, I was like, "Wow. There's so much brilliance here and this really 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 needs to go out in the world." Yeah. Did you feel that? Oh yeah. Did you feel that when you read your own chapter? I yeah. I was also uh, lucky enough to to read a couple of other chapters that that I helped you edit a few months back and in reading them I had tears streaming down my face. I was so grateful for for everything. And I remember listening to the interviews and it's somehow different seeing it in writing. It it has like a different life in a way when when you see it in writing rather than just the interviews and they're both brilliant it's just a different energy and wow to have this come out in the world is just brilliant and i'm so grateful and yes survived you know we made it and i i remember when you originally sent me my my long 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 transcript and i looked at it and thought how did it come out of my mouth first <laughs> How in the heck does this turn into a chapter? <laughs> amazing. And we have so much more creativity and so much more ability to to create and to just the presence of us in the world than we've ever really imagined or given ourselves credit for. And so, so Rachel, you know, if if you were to talk about the same topic today in the next 3 minutes, what would you say? 3 minutes say, right get up dust yourself off and go fly baby even if yeah. you're on the ground with your face planted it's all right just get up choose again it's, it's amazing there's no such thing as a freaking shut open shut closed door it's all open everything's open there is nothing limiting us except what's in here so how much fun can we have just flying <laughs> and the whole conversation in access now with the chaos and the points of order and and I could see so much of that in my life how much rigidity and how much structure and how much oh I have to try to get this right you know my my whole life and 
everything in this conversation and reading back to the chapter, I was giggling at 2.30 in the morning, reading it to my daughter last night as I was putting her to bed at 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> bad mama, bad mama. Um, and we were just having such a good time with it. And it's not about how something has to look or how something has to be. You just keep going. Just the only way through is through and doing it with a smile and dancing through it and having fun is such a different energy than anything that I'd ever had before. So yeah, that is an amazing invitation. No matter what your life looks like or feels like at the moment. Um, in my case, I was really coming at it from the point of view of limitation. There are no limits. I mean, they're just all here. So what would life be like if we'd be willing to get out of the stories and get out of the stuckness and get out of our own way and actually begin to play? Like I said, fun. <laughs> Stephanie, do you realize it's almost like we are in a time machine, like our future self meeting our past selves? <laughs> Yes, Stephanie, she's disappeared. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had someone outside. My dogs flew out the door, and someone is blowing leaves right at the door. So I muted myself <laughs> and had to make a couple of adjustments. <laughs> so, so, Stephanie, you, you, were, you were saying that um, you realized when you were uh, looking at the chapter that you don't speak English? Yes. So what yes. do you speak? <laughs> that is a good question. Um, well, you know, our, our first language, one of the, the tools that we use, the, you know, asking questions, um, looking at what's light for you is true for you, what's heavy for you is a lie for you. All of that is based on speaking energy as your first language. And so what I really realized reading the chapter is that when we speak to one another, we may not speak in complete sentences. Um, we may not. We may not fulfill entire ideas in paragraph form when we're speaking to one another. But what happens is we transmit energy back and forth to one another, and that conversation, even before it happens with words, happens with energy, and even as it as it happens with words, happens with energy. And so, you know, as I was speaking on our interview, that's what I was doing. But what I realized whenever I read the transcript of it is that that does not make for a good read. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of, there were a lot of places where, um, you know, I imagine, I'm not sure who actually did the transcribing of it, but I just imagined the poor person that was actually sitting there trying to transcribe it as I was using noises um, to get points across or as I was leaving space for, you know, the energy to move to get across a point or as I was actually tapping in to different people's universes and addressing the energies that are present. So in Access Consciousness, one of the things that we do, one of the classes that we have is something called the um, Symphony of Possibilities. And one of the things that um, everyone who takes that class actually taps into and begins to use is that addressing energies and changing energies, not using words, but just using the energies that are present. So we may use we may use a sentence to actually sort of ping an energy in someone's in, uh, universe just to bring the energy up. So if I ask you, you know, um, what, what does it bring up for you if I ask you if you're creative? You know, so what do I say? I say, oh, you're so creative. What does that bring up for you? No, I'm not. Or last time I tried to be creative was when I was in third grade and I got a, you know, my teacher told me to, you know, give it up. I might as well hang it up now. And that my mom probably should never put that on the refrigerator, you know. Um, and when those energies come up, we can address those directly um, without even using the words. So words are sort of um, an, an additional thing that we do <laughs> in order to try to come to some sort of like uh, understanding of one another, um, but that it's not our first language and that it may not be your first skill if you're listening and you're going, oh, I resemble that remark. <laughs> there is hope for you. <laughs> you can use that. That maybe, you know, your, the wrongness of you may just be a strongness that, that you don't have uh, practice. And using it as a skill just yet. 
So I wonder how much energy did you put into your chapter? <laughs> I, I wonder. Would I do such a thing, Nova? <laughs> so, Melody. I knew you were coming to me next. <laughs> I was like, like, who's putting more energy, Melanie, Kalpana? <laughs> you four are the only ones I can see right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Hi, Nella, for Earth. Hi, everybody. Gosh, I can't believe it's almost been two years. This has been, a, it's, it's so fascinating to look back, you know, and, and look at, you know, the life that I've, you know, created in these 10 seconds. And the, my chapter was, um, it was choice, change, and play, and the, the keys to discovering and stepping through your doorway to infinite possibility. And I was like, choice, change, and play. So I started reading my chapter this morning after um, I purchased it for 99 cents on Kindle on launch day. I was like, Yay! I was really excited to read it, actually. And everything is still so relevant. You know, everything that I was writing about, you know, having more ease with change, you know, bringing, bringing play into it, it's bringing allowance for, for you. And the, the, the discomfort that, you know, that, that can often happen, you know, when things are changing dynamically. And, you know, with the chaos conversation right now and instilling chaos into everything, you know, my life, the world, with everything going on, you know, in the political arena right now and, you know, globally. Um, I, I'm just so amazed at the things that, you know, where we've created in the past that are, that are like breadcrumbs, that are literally like, oh, here's this book two years later. I literally forgot that it was happening for a while. And I was like, what book? And I look at my chapter and everything is as if I was speaking it to myself for the things that I actually require to hear right now, which I think is one of the most, is such a beautiful, magical way that consciousness works. Um, yeah, just so cool. You, you know, like I've been reading through every chapter in the last three days because I wanted to pull out all the questions because there were such beautiful questions and I wanted to pull those out and put them in a document and give it as a bonus to everyone who purchased the book. And as I was reading it, I said, wow. I mean, I could pick every question and see how relevant it was, you know, to what's going on in my life. And that's what I love about access, you know, because it's, it's like you use the tool, your life changes. It's as simple as that. Absolutely. And that's really the key, right? You use it. And the thing that I really like about the book, and, you know, I'm, I'm interested in, you know, getting to other people's chapters, but the things that we're talking about, it's something that everyone can relate to. You know, it, it's sort of timeless. You know, change is always going to be happening. You know, people are always going to be asking for different possibilities. Um, so I, I can really, you know, I can really see that this, you know, a book would be a beautiful resource for people, you know, for, you know, for the future. I, I, I can't imagine it not actually being relevant. You know, the well, one of the I'm things, thinking. when you bring that up, Melanie, one of the things I think about is how many different books I have around and, um, and how many times when something's going on, one will literally sort of light up on the shelf. And if I just go and I open it somewhere, it seems to be relevant. And one of the things I love about this book is having so many different voices and so many energies as Noah Fur was pointing out, like what energies have we actually used and infused into the book that when you open it, you know, what, what if you played with it even as one of those things where for, you know, for a week, for a month, for a year, whatever you, I mean, there are 480 pages. You could go for over a year picking one page per day where you just open it up and see what it says in there. <laughs> see what energy is available as a contribution to your life. Um, I know that, that I talk to, I talk to a number of you guys on a fairly regular basis. And, and every time I talk to you guys, it, it shows me something different about my life. It gives me a different perspective of stuff 
Um, and even when we use a tool that's already been used before, there's something about when somebody else asks a question or the way that somebody else presents a tool that sometimes it's like a light bulb goes on. Oh, that's how that tool works. Or, oh, that's what I could. It sounded so different when you said it. <laughs> I love that. Anyway, that was what. It, thanks, Melanie. Yeah, no, absolutely. Thank you for bringing it up. Does this not spark something for anyone else? It's like I can feel you guys like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kalpana, Kalpana, you know, I just read your Facebook post, like you've done your biggest event, event ever with 62 people and you spoke about art. So, I mean, like, it's like, <laughs> so what do you have to say? <laughs> I would say I took notes of my own book. <laughs> I listened to myself, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I I love this conversation and how um you know it's like listening to an old class and you go fuck I never heard it or I'm getting it at such a different level and this is what I get from reading my chapter or other people's chapters that it's stuff that I said it 2 years ago and I think we all are like who was that who am I now cuz I'm not that person anymore and oh my god <laughs> thank you <laughs> to self no to self and um <laughs> How much have we been living what we actually came to during our conversation with you? Because, I, I, you know, I think I can speak for all of us that these conversations were really conversations that your questions basically opened up doors and um, cupboards and, you know, uh, all kinds of pockets. And that information, as we spoke, has been a contribution to our life ever since and to the world, hopefully. So how does it get any better? And I would say that though, when I was reading, I was like, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, it's still working. How cool is that? Like what Stephanie was saying, it's like we're using the tools and our life is in a way we don't function from proving, but if there is a proof, it's our life. You know, the, the tools change our life at a, all the time on a daily mat on a daily basis and i would say the piece i did with 62 people i didn't know i could do that with such ease and still doing classes on the side and i was using the the things and the tools and the processes that i was speaking about in my conversation with you so i'm just thrilled that i could share that with the world and that you know how does it get any better how oh, does it get any better than that um I, you know I edited uh, Kalpana's uh, chapter and it was incredible. It opened up this whole other sense of creativity and art and, and places I could take it that um, that I had never actually perceived before. Um, and I had talked to Kalpana a number of times and it was almost like the chapter, um, her uh, chapter gave me a whole new insight to not just her, but this incredible uh, body of work and um, all the doors and um, all the possibilities that you could take um, and go with. It was just incredible. It was incredible. I actually had to put it down halfway through just to breathe. <laughs> Can I look it up right now? It was incredible. It changed, it changed me just reading it. It was just um yeah, I started applying some of the tools and um, some of my creations, uh, my creations um, expanded, and I got really excited about um, some of um, the things that I was playing with again in the, in the projects as well, which had kind of fallen flat, and um, I didn't have. Um, they just kind of I put them on the wayside, and your chapter really woke up. Um, that energy for those things again because I had a whole new set of tools and I was aware of a whole uh, different set of energies that I could start playing with. It was fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Kalpana, what's the name of your chapter? What if your life would be is it a piece of art? Oh, it's chapter 17 or 18. Oh, yeah. 18. 18. The 8th. I was reading it yesterday morning. <laughs> <Look at me. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Louise, I was just gonna 
seeing you because today while I was like on Facebook, I found two different conversations with uh, people talking about their kids and the challenges that they were having with their kids. And I said, wow, oh, Louise is not there and I'm talking to her. Oh, she's there. Oh, no, she's I'm there. <laughs> and, and I said, wow, you know, they should read Louise's chapter in the book. <laughs> yes, I I do my best to try to to connect with people and um, let them know there are other possibilities with children, especially if um, they're different, which we like to call sometimes difficult children, or I like to refer to them as really being really different. Um, yeah, in the two years that I did that interview, my uh, we actually readdressed some things with my son, and he um, actually showed up as being uh, rather than ADHD, high functioning autism, which kind of changed things yet again. And there was a whole new different set of um, we we had to totally change um, quite a few things of how how we were with him, and it's that. It's that lovely coherence or the play between um, what this reality would like uh, says to do with um, with some of these things, and okay, and what works for him, what works for us, and what question can we be, and what is actually going on here? Um, we actually uh, chose to. Um, because of his grades at school, he actually gets more resources. So we, we use the system to our advantage to have um, more support systems put in place for him. And it's been working out really well. And, um, yeah, it's really important just to use what is around you and, and in the school system and yet still be in the question and still use these tools and um, ask the, ask your children a lot of questions about what they know um, and what works for them and and if it you know encourage them to try different things and if it doesn't work for them you know they they will choose something else you know we had a, a I always uh, talk about my son being on the computer all the time and part of the high functioning autism is that they have a very um, a focus they're very much into this one thing and so I was encouraging him I was like can you include your body in your life and um, you know what would your body like to do you know can we you know you choose and I'll sign you up and he's like oh let's do martial arts and I'm like hey, you know is that the one you would like you know because we tried some different things and looked at the different energies of it do you like cycling do you like kung fu do you like uh, rowing, do you like um, start sailing? And he had a look at some different things. So he went for Kung Fu. And we noticed that within, I think, a week, he started getting stomach aches and headaches and things like that. I'm saying, okay, this is not working for your body. <laughs> your body wants out. And so we stopped that and then he chose something else. And we tried that and we tried something else. And we'll always be in the question. Um, always be in the question with your children. And it really encourages them to expand into looking beyond this reality for what actually works for them as well. And, and Louise, you know, while I was reading your chapter and pulling out questions from your chapter, I was like, wow, you know, you had such incredible questions, you know. So for those of you who picked up the book and who got the bonuses, go check out her questions. Those were amazing, like those three questions that you gave. And I'll just give a little teaser about it. So <laughs> I love teasing people. So it's like, you know, you were talking about how uh, you would go pick up your kids from school and and yeah. then ask them three questions in the car. Do you remember those three questions? I use those questions today and especially for myself. Absolutely. Um, so do you want to share those? Yes, I would love to. So a really good... Um, to know when to use them is when you wake up in the morning and you feel like heavy and tired and the first thing that you want to reach for is a cup of coffee to try and wake yourself up. So just before you reach for the cup of coffee, take a moment and just ask, what am I facilitating that's not being received? And 
and just destroy and uncreate it all, right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's the clearing statement. If you'd like to know more about the clearing statement, you can go to theclearingstatement.com. And then the other question is, what am I facilitating that is being received? And everything that doesn't allow you to acknowledge that, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Um, I also uh, add to it, what did I shift and change that is not being received? And what did I shift and change that is being received? And then if I'm still feeling pretty much hit by a truck, I'll add, if I was a superhero, what did I just do? And I find that I don't need the coffee. I find that my energy lifts. Um, my kids are happier uh, if I ask these questions. And it just leaves your day behind. Yeah, it's almost like you take everything that wasn't received and it's rather than trying to, to give it to the same people in this way and then that way and then this way and then that way and they still won't receive it, it's almost like you can just let it go and just acknowledge what is being received. And you actually find that how you speak or what you do with people starts changing. You have more awareness about what is being received and what is not being received. And you don't actually have to figure out exactly what it is. It's very energetic. So I noticed that if I ask, uh, what did I facilitate that is being received? There's almost like a, an opening. And when I ask what is being facilitated that is not being received, there's like I can sense this heaviness, this cloud. And that seems to lift and dissipate using the clearing statement, which is just magic. I have a whole other different day. If you, I do it in the morning and I do it at night, so, especially with the kids. <laughs> wow. Thanks for sharing that, Louise. Um, and talking about magic, Aditi. Hi. <laughs> so magic of the universe. Yeah, that was, I, like sometimes I'm surprised I actually picked that that topic, but that was more real to me than any of the other topics that that somebody suggested. And I said, no, I think magic of the universe is the only one that really works for me because I realized that what if that is the space you're being, and not acknowledging it would be dishonoring of not just you but the universe also. It's like. This is now the space where you're not separated from anything anymore. And one of the things that the chaos and order conversation has brought for me is that I've always been chaos, you know, and I tried to order things and it didn't really work for me. And now as I acknowledge the chaos that I, that I be, life is so much easier and it's so much happier that today it's, it's, it's been, I never realized how different I was until I read my chapter again. <laughs> Absolutely. And a lot of acknowledging, oh yeah, fuck, I am different. I'm really different. Okay, fine. How does it get better than that? What can I how can I use it to my advantage? And just being aware of it and acknowledging it has created so much more for me. And it's made it much easier for me to step up once I acknowledged how different I was and how different I am. And the one thing that I, I noticed that man I actually I, I don't read like most people. Like I like to scroll through it and I get the energy of the pages as I scroll through it. And I was scrolling through it and I realized one of the things that was so, so, uh, that, in, that surprised me and impressed me about the book is we've all talked about it in terms of not just where we were two years ago, but we've spoken to the future, like 10 years in the future. Like somebody picking up the book 10 years in the future is going to be relevant to them. They're going to be. Um, and it's still going to change something in the future, not just now, but, you know, 10 years from now as well. And I was so, I was so happy about it, you know, I didn't really, I was, well, I don't know if that makes sense. So, so Aditi, can I ask you a question? Sure. So, so is, so. So it's like you're talking about we putting we put in an energy which is addressing the future. So is that energy also 
also constant or is that energy also continuously changing oh it's continuously changing and the more we sort of start choosing that energy and start and start inviting more of that and you know like communicating with that the way we do and communion and having communion with that it just changes it and changes it and changes it that we actually what if we creating a greater future than we have acknowledged and 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 as we and as we change we are also changing all our creations whether they are in the past present or future yeah and it's like now i i notice the creations are showing up faster and wanting to be actualized even faster it's like what have what 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 magic have we actually actualized or what magic have we actually acknowledged yeah that too so talking from magic to allowance bhagya hey bhagya are you there oh i'm i'm not there can you hear me I can, I can hear you. Okay, great, great. Bhagya, are you there? Yeah, I am there. I am very much there. <laughs> Listening to people and being happy, being here, and and yeah, it's been like a dream come true. A long-awaited dream came true today, and uh, I today is my first day of the foundation class. and so it was in the evening that i saw what had occurred and i was so happy about it and uh, when we talk about allowance we spoke about it a couple of years ago but the way i look at it it is never more needed more required than it is now so you know i will um i've been reading your facebook post and one of the posts that you have written it just was oh, wow it was just um it just brought me to tears you know uh, and i think that's one of your posts which has been really very 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 well liked and you've spoken which about uh, it's uh, it's something to do with if you have a choice between um uh, uh something and kindness choose to be kind if you have a choice yeah, yeah do you remember that would you like to share that with us because for me that was like an embodiment of allowance you know that was the energy of allowance totally in that post yeah vivek and i were having a conversation that day and he asked me like yeah so how can you be like this and i said how can one not be that way and the idea that there is a possibility that that you could react but there's also a possibility that you could respond with a kind with a kindness that is what this world most requires everybody receives kindness uh and that is uh what is going to change everything so when you have a choice between being right and being kind be kind and that is i feel like allowance something that is embedded in each one of us and and it's a choice in the moment to either be that or not be that and the other day while having lunch murli vivek and i uh, were having lunch and murli said something that was like so profound uh, he doesn't talk much my husband but when he does we are all listening very carefully so he said there are there there is a sentence with 10 two letter words so he said ah oh, really so what could that be and he said if it is to be it is up to me if it is to be it is up to me so it is up to me to choose kindness or the rightness of my point of view 
which is not going to change anything except escalate a particular situation. So I got a lot of uh, responses to that particular post and uh, it was following a conversation I was having with my son. And that's what I shared with everybody. And I feel that if you're looking for empowerment, if you're looking for change, if you're looking for anything that can change the world for something greater, then one would choose allowance. Always. And I'm extremely grateful to you, Nilofar, because I still remember to this day the conversation we had and I had like four topics for you to choose from. And when I mentioned the artless art of allowance, you said that, that, that. And that was the beginning of it all. So I'm extremely grateful to you for, for that contribution that you have been uh, in so many ways. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful to be a part of this group and I was just sitting and listening to each one of you and watching each one of you and and thanking this privilege that I have to be a part of this group. Thank you. And I'm just going to toot your horn, <laughs> Maggie, the, the topic that the art of allowance is I've played with you on Zoom on a couple of occasions and we've spoken uh, several times and you've been one of the greatest inspirations in my life over the last few months of, of wow. Thank you for seeing that. Of my own back and appreciating myself and not having this um, constant fight within myself that was where I was really functioning from for years and it's been amazing. It was in February, I think, you had um, some uh, Zooms on, on allowance and on relationships yeah. and it's so beautiful. Every time I hear you and every time I re-listen and every time I listen to that um, earth meditation that you did, oh my God, <laughs> thank you. What a Communing with the earth every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring that. Thank you. It's, it's amazing how we don't even notice the things that we may say or do or share that just ripple out in the world and affect so many people without our even knowing them or noticing that you know, several years from now it's still going. And look, this is a book that's based on conversations that we had in the early part of 2015. And they're alive and and contributing and I wonder how much they're going to contribute and shift in the world for, for everyone. It's, it's such a gift to be able to have these tools. Thank you. Yeah, thank you too. You know, when I, when I was reading the clearings, uh, you know, that we did that day and I was looking at them and thinking, wow, you really said this and really did this? Wow, this is so cool. Because when you look at allowance and people look at it as like, no, it's not easy. But, but it is easy. Because you don't have to struggle over it. You just have to choose it. Because you can't change anybody else, right? And what's the good of reacting to something and unnecessarily, you know, messing up with you? Why would one choose to do that? So... When people talk of allowance, they have this feeling that, that it is not possible to be in allowance. But I say like, if we choose it in the moment, for the moment, anyone can choose it, right? Moment by moment, it's always that. It's a choice in the moment. And not choosing is also a choice. And choosing it is also a choice. Why wouldn't we choose that? 
so when people talk of no it's not possible or it appears to be like a doormat it, it requires a tremendous amount of strength to be able to hold that space to be in allowance so it has nothing to do with being a doormat anything but right so thank you for the privilege and the pleasure of being a part of this group and thank you melanie for coming up with this idea it's it's, it's been an amazing amazing day and i i see there are people still wondering how to get to uh, you know that book on a whatsapp chat they're still talking about and not being able to get it and how do i do this and how do i do that it's nice to know that it is created change already yeah it pulls up far and wide and that's nice that's great and thank you for 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 choosing to have that uh tele summit in the first place lilo i know for you it's not the first time you've had other books but you've made my day so much <laughs> more awesome thank you oh you know it's it's not about you've had other books it's like every book is so special it, it almost feels like my baby <laughs> yeah i i get what you're saying so thank you thank you everyone um for your contribution i i've i really honestly i've read this book so many times and i know i'm going to keep reading it because i just this there's this magic and this amazing energy of change and possibilities which is there in the book which is like it just brings me to tears um for people who don't know how to get the book it is actually easy if you go to amazon.com and in the search box you actually put where is my doorway to possibilities um it will show up in your search you just click on it and then it'll give you a couple of different options on purchasing it um the 99 cent deal you're actually purchasing it on Kindle um which you can read if you have an iPhone i'm assuming you can read it on other phones but i know for sure cuz i have one you can read it on your phone so yeah, you can um, read it across all you know, platforms Cool. Yeah. Yeah, except you know in a few countries like in the UAE you can't purchase Kindles. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, really it's so funny here. So yeah, and uh how would they get it then? Yeah, you just wait for the print uh, oh. edition <laughs> and uh, the print edition I was hoping to get it done by today but unfortunately there's a little glitch with the cover page. So can you next, can you put next, it on a wish list? Is there a way to can somebody find out if you can put the book on a wish list to show up whenever it's available? Uh yeah, what else is possible? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to have a print copy of it personally. I like having them around so I can just flip yes. through the pages. Yeah. and then so yeah, you have them and find the spot or a page yeah and you have to you have you know you have it's a five uh, almost 500 <laughs> that's so exciting <laughs> and then you can get those little sticky notes like different yes. colored sticky notes and highlighters <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh a bridget uh it's not been translated to other languages yet <laughs> the english one took me two years to get it done but <laughs> wait we had this whole conversation about energy no i'm just i'm just playing <laughs> yeah i she 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 put it there as well so in the next couple of week hope uh, week so hopefully um, the print version will also be done and i'm going to announce it on facebook or if you uh, want to uh subscribe to my database illusion to illumination summit.com i'll send out an email when the print version is done and you know what can i share a little secret what it's not so much of a secret i have two more books coming out within the next two or three weeks what wow what are they what are they 
<laughs> okay, so one is called the magic of being, Ooh. and the other one is create your life. Ooh. So what else? Is possible? You've been a busy little bee. Yeah, I haven't actually. No. <laughs> No. That's on a roll. Pack them in. <laughs> Even it's better. As it <laughs> magic. She's, she's magic. She doesn't do anything that it suddenly just appears. <laughs> so, I honestly didn't know if this book was coming out or, or not. I hadn't. It, it was such a nice surprise to see your message in, in, in the group to us. Um, couple of weeks ago I was like wow really <laughs> seriously <laughs> what a fantastic way for it's a Jewish New Year so it's a new beginning what a great way to begin the year absolutely absolutely thanks for an awesome birthday present my birthday is next week so thanks for that oh happy, happy birthday <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> in advance hey Jennifer, um, were you giving away some you know some sort of prizes for people yeah. purchase, yeah. you know, yeah. launch. Absolutely. We're giving away uh, prizes. And, uh, uh, you know, people are, uh, some of the authors are gifting 20 minute sessions with them. So if you're live here right now and you've got the book, just post it in the uh, comments and post your email. And you might be one of the lucky ones to get a private session with one of us. Everyone's frozen. Did you hear me? Oh, we heard you. I'm like, okay. I'm looking at the <laughs> well, it's, it's my name in there. I bought a copy. I'd love to have a session with you guys. <laughs> no, you're not getting one. Rachel, come on, you're not getting one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Eleanor has put her email address. Uh, Aditi, you're not getting one either. <laughs> <laughs> the authors are not getting it. <laughs> you're giving one. I need to do both. <laughs> oh God, this is so funny. <laughs> so Eleanor and Bridget. Brilliant. <laughs> so is, is there also a website for with a particular link for different countries? Uh, yes. So you can go to www.whereismydoorwaytopossibilities.com and I've actually put the links of all the Amazon stores. So you, you don't even have to go on Amazon and search for the book. I've done. Uh, it's like you just have to click on the link. That's all you have to do. <laughs> and then on that website, you know, um, uh, there's a there's an email uh, to which you have to send your receipt. So please, please, please don't send a PDF or don't send uh, a photo of uh, the purchase receipt. Just forward the receipt that you get from Amazon to that email address. And I don't remember what that is. So you have to go to the website to check it out. And once you forward it there, you will get the bonuses, which is like um, a few bonuses, uh, which are amazing, which I don't remember right now. But the only two I remember is the clearing from the book and the questions. Questions are amazing. I mean, really, really, really amazing. I'm going to print those out and keep them handy with me because it's like any situation in my life. Oh, my God. God. I have that question. Oh, I have to open the envelope. Oh, Melanie has that question. <laughs> what? What's the question? <laughs> yeah, I'll send you the bonus. <laughs> You know, one, one thing I just did as we were on the call, because I, I got so excited with Luisa's question, and yeah, I hadn't read her chapter, and that was too long, 10 seconds ago, where I didn't actually, like, connect to use the question from the interview, but that, what am I facilitating that's not being received? I just made a little graphic of it, just really quick now while we were on this call, so it's there on my Facebook page, I've tagged 
a couple of you guys there. But I'd love to take some of those questions and just flip them into little graphics for, for whoever would like to I love share, that. share them and I have some so fun. Too. So I don't know. I Maybe they want to do a little slideshow to remind them or some of these things to get unstuck. Maybe, yeah, maybe we add, add that as a bonus. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> 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 Some cool graphics from Rachel. So, um, so really, you know, and here's another thing I'm going to do. I'm going to be really naughty here, okay? So for 24 hours, whenever it began, till, um, till like, uh, you know, midnight PST tomorrow, it's going to cost 99 cents. And then after that, every day, the price is going to go up by $1. <laughs> yeah? Until it reaches 9.99. So 9.99, I'm going to cap it till there. So, you know what? Go get your book. And even if you're going to get a print copy later, how much fun could it be to have the Kindle with you for wherever you go? Because, I mean, 500 pages, you're not going to lug in your suitcase, right? Right. So. <laughs> I, I, I love reading books on my uh, phone, you know. It just, uh, it's just... It's so much more easy for me these days. And that's why I always do the Kindle launch first. So how does it get any better than that? So anybody? Okay. Oh, you know, and there are also a few other authors um, that weren't able to make it today because they're in Costa Rica. Did, did you want to mention a few of the other people who are also in the book? Um, okay, <laughs> let me pull out the list. <laughs> Gary Douglas, Catherine or... McIntosh, Rebecca Holtz. Uh, Rhonda Burns, uh, uh, Julia Sotas, Simone Fador, Cara Wright, Delaney Delaney, Glenn Shepard, uh, Nirmala Raju, Christine McIver, uh, Ritu Motial. Wow. Amazing, yeah, amazing, amazing people. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Amazing, amazing conversations, amazing energy. Um, it's just, you know, I've been pulling out uh, parts of the book and posting it on Facebook uh, since, you know, I got the transcript. And every time I would post one of those, I would get so many likes and comments. On just that told me how special this book was going to be. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing a hope. I, I mean, I'm going to be unashamedly selling this really one dollar come on get it guys hey no i have a question so if if people who are reading their reading the book and they really love it and they and they would actually like to you know hear the actual conversation it is is there a, a way for them to um to get that there's the replay page is still up i found it yesterday it is. I sent a link to it in my email. Hang on a second. <laughs> I've been really yeah. naughty. I made that live. <laughs> you are exposing all my secrets, Rachel. Come on. <laughs> so, so what I'm going to do is all the people who send me their um, their receipt, I'm going to send you the link to the replay page, and you can go listen to it for the next ten days. I love that. That's awesome. So you can you can still go listen to it, and those are amazing. So you can read it, and you can listen to it, and there's so much more available with that. Awesome, well, Nilfer, Thank you so much for creating this, and thank you all so much, you know, yeah. for spontaneously jumping in for this conversation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Very much sorry to be exposing secrets. I didn't realize it was a secret. I just found it and was so excited.